We are just under a month away from pitchers and catchers reporting to spring training. Baseball season is getting ready to start. Now, granted, we still have some of the best players in all of baseball not signed to a major league team, talking Bryce Harper and Manny Machado. But even though those guys haven't signed yet, we are not slowing down on this channel. We are going to continue to move on. So over the next few days or weeks, you're going to be seeing me drop top 10 lists of every single position in major league baseball. Of course, as you see from the title, today is going to be the top 10 pitchers going into the 2019 season. The way we'll determine what video comes next will be from the comment section down below so get down there let me know which top 10 position i should go over next as always if you guys do enjoy these videos you know what to do leave a like on it that's the best way to support the channel and subscribe if you're new and you enjoy what you see here we're talking about baseball almost every single day so if you're interested in that kind of stuff this is the place to be join the team and remember to follow me on twitter and instagram at giraffe neck mark links in the description down below talk about baseball every day over there so now we can finally get going into our top 10 starting pitchers list with all these kind of videos there's of course going to be players that get left off so if you feel like i didn't put someone in the top 10 that deserved it you guys know in the comments you can tell me i think these will be really fun videos because it has a chance to see what my opinion is get to see what you guys think in the comment section we get to talk compare argue good stuff so starting off at number 10 we're going with new york yankees pitcher luis severino luis severino is entering his 25 year old season in 2019 for the New York Yankees and he's coming off a very strong 2018 building off his best year yet in 2017. Severino appeared in 32 games starting in all 32 for the New York Yankees throwing 191 innings with one complete game shutout. Severino finished with a 19-8 record, a 3.39 ERA, 2.95 FIP, and a 1.145 WHIP. Even though Severino's numbers were not as good as his 2017 season, he was still solid in 2018. Severino's per nines are as follows, 8.1 hits per nine innings, 0.9 home runs per nine, 2.2 walks per nine and 10.3 strikeouts per nine to give him a strike to walkout ratio of 4.78. We know that Luis Severino has some of the nastiest stuff in all of baseball and his numbers last year actually got worse towards the end of the season because he was tipping some of his pitches. Overall, we still know that this guy is one of the best pitchers in the league and that's why he comes in at number 10. Coming in at number nine is one of my favorite pitchers in all of baseball. He's a New York Met. It's going to be Noah Syndergaard. Syndergaard came back pretty strong last season after an injury that kept him out for most of 2017. In 2018, Noah Syndergaard appeared in 25 games for the New York Mets, throwing two complete games and one shutout. He finished with a 13-4 record, 3.03 ERA, 1.21 whip, and a 2.80 FIP. Now, yes, Syndergaard did not pitch for the full 2018, nor did he pitch for the full 2017. But based on what we see in the past and what we see in the future, he's definitely a top 10 pitcher. In 2018, Syndergaard's per nines were still pretty good, 8.6 hits per nine, 0.5 home runs per nine, which is one of the lowest in the National League, 2.3 walks per nine, and nine strikeouts per nine to give him a strikeout to walk ratio of almost four at 3.97. If Syndergaard can stay healthy next season for the New York Mets, he's going to be a huge part of that rotation along with DeGrom and Wheeler. Syndergaard's got some of the nastiest stuff, one of the hardest throwing pitchers in the league. That's why he comes in at number nine. Coming in at number eight on this list is going to be 2018 American League Cy Young Award winner Blake Snell. Blake Snell is entering his 26-year-old season for the Tampa Bay Rays, coming off by far the best season of his career. Of course, like I said earlier, Blake Snell won the 2018 Cy Young Award in the American League pitching in 31 games and 180 innings for the Tampa Bay Rays. Blake Snell finished with a record of 21 and five with a minuscule 1.89 ERA, a whip of under one at 0.97 and a FIP at 2.95. It truly was a career season for Blake Snell with career highs in innings pitch and strikeouts as well, striking out 221 in 2018. Blake Snell's per nines are as follows, 5.6 hits per nine, which led the American League, 0.8 home runs per nine, 3.2 walks per nine, and 11 strikeouts per nine to give him a strikeout to walk ratio of 3.45. Blake Snell's season of 2018 was absolutely fantastic, and he could find his way higher up on this list going into the 2020 season. The reason I put him in at number eight is just because of the one season factor thus far. He's obviously got the stuff. He showed it last season. I just need to see a little bit more out of him before he starts creeping maybe into that top five territory. Coming in at number seven on this list, another young pitcher in the National League coming off a career season, pitcher for the Phillies. Philadelphia Phillies, Aaron Nola. Like I said, Aaron Nola is a young buck. He's going to be pitching in his 26-year-old season for the Phillies. 2018 was by far the best season of his career, where he finished third in the National League Cy Young voting. He had a 17-6 record with a 2.37 ERA, a whip at .975, and a FIP at 3.01, all of which are career best for Aaron Nola. In regards to his per nines, Aaron Nola was stellar as well with a 6.3 hits per nine, 0.7 home runs per nine, 2.5 walks per nine, and 9.5 strikeouts per nine, 
to give him a strikeout to walk ratio of 3.86. Aaron Nola had a strong 2017 and built upon that in 2018, being one of the most dominant pitchers in the National League. Start to end, Aaron Nola had a great season for the Philadelphia Phillies and turned out to be the best pitcher in that rotation even after they signed Jake Arrieta. Nola looks to build upon the great 2018 and 2019. No signs of slowing down for him. That's why he comes in at number seven on this list. Coming in just outside the top five at number six is going to be one of the old men on this list. We're going with Justin Verlander of the Houston Astros. Justin Verlander is going into his 36-year-old season for the Houston Astros, but it has been quite a renaissance since going from Detroit to Houston. Since 2016, Justin Verlander has finished second in the Cy Young, fifth in the Cy Young, and second last year in 2018. Last season for the Astros, Verlander started in 34 games, threw 214 innings, and had a complete game shutout as well. Verlander finished with a 16-9 record, a 2.5 ERA in the American League, had a career-high 290 strikeouts, which also led the American League, finished with a whip of .902 and a FIP of 2.78 to make him one of the best pitchers in the American League. Verlander had a 6.6 .6 hit per nine, 1.2 home run per nine, 1.6 walks per nine and 12.2 strikeouts per nine to give him an American League leading 7.84 strikeout to walk ratio. It's crazy. Justin Verlander over the last three years has been a dominant pitcher. He's like a fine wine. He gets better as he's getting older. It really pains me to put him outside my top five because I really think he deserves it. But when you see the guys I got ahead of him, you'll go, oh, well, that does make sense. So Justin Verlander comes in at number six for me. I feel like some people might not like this decision to put him in at number five, but in my opinion, the fifth best pitcher going into the 2019 season is going to be Los Angeles Dodgers left-handed pitcher, Clayton Kershaw. Now, while Clayton Kershaw may not have been as dominant as we've seen in the past, and he hasn't been on the mound for as many games as you'd like, in the 20 plus starts he's made in the last few years, he has still been disgusting. In 2018, Kershaw only appeared in 26 games, throwing 161 innings, but that's pretty much similar to what he did in 2017, where he made 27 starts and had 175 innings. Kershaw finished the season with a 9-5 record, 2.73 ERA, a whip of 1.041, and a FIP of 3.19. His per nines weren't the best, but they're still pretty good. 7.8 hits per nine, 0 0.9 home runs per nine, 1.6 walks per nine, and 8.6 strikeouts per nine to give him a strikeout to walk ratio of 5.34, which is still one of the best ratios in all of baseball. Listen, could I have swapped Kershaw and Verlander at five and six? Yes. But since 2011, Clayton Kershaw has finished in the top five of the Cy Young voting in the National League seven times. But I think Kershaw is going to come back in 2019, have a great season, look like he's one of the best pitchers in baseball again. And I mean, how do I pick against Clayton Kershaw? He's just so good. That's why he's number five on my list. Coming in at number four, we have current Cleveland Indians pitcher, although maybe he gets traded before the season starts. We're talking about the former Cy Young Award winner, Corey Kluber. In 2018, Corey Kluber finished third in the Cy Young voting in the American League, only behind Justin Verlander and Blake Snell. He appeared in 33 games and led the American League with 215 innings pitched, Two complete games, one shutout. In 2018, Kluber had a record of 20 and 7 with a 2.89 ERA, a whip of under one at .991, and a FIP of 3.12. Kluber's strikeouts were down from 2018, but at the same time, he still had an extremely solid 2018 season. In regards to his per nines, Corey Kluber still has elite numbers: 7.5 hits per nine. 1.0 home runs per nine, 1.4 walks per nine, which was a career best along with an American League best, and 9.3 strikeouts per nine to give him a strikeout to walk ratio of 6.53. Corey Kluber is still one of the best pitchers in the league, and he showed that in 2018, following up on a Cy Young performance 2017 season. Similar to Kershaw, playoffs, maybe not the best spot for Corey Kluber, but in the regular season, Corey Kluber is one of the best pitchers in all of baseball, and he gives you a great chance every time he goes out there to get a W. Corey Kluber, fourth best pitcher in baseball for 2019. This was a real Really tough decision for me to choose here at number three, but I'm going with it and I'm sticking with my heart because I truly do believe he is the best pitcher in the American League. Coming in at number three, we're going with that crazy lanky left-handed pitcher, Chris Sale. Chris Sale coming off a fantastic 2018 season despite having some injury issues and not pitching nearly as much as they would have liked. If Chris Sale had had a full season under his belt, he probably would have been the Cy Young Award winner over Blake Snell in my opinion. In 2018, he finished with a 12 and four record 2.11 ERA, a whip of 0.861, which is disgusting for pitchers, and a FIP of 1.98. In 158 innings, Chris Sale struck out 237 batters. His per nines were disgusting as well, 5.8 hits per nine, 
under one home run at 0.6, 1.9 walks per nine, which is great to see Chris Sale get the walks down as always, 13.5 strikeouts per nine to give him a strikeout to walk ratio of nearly seven at 6.97. Yes, Chris Sale did not pitch a full 2018 season like some of the other guys on this list. But you look at Chris Sale's numbers for the last two, three seasons, you could even go back all the way to 2012 with the White Sox. He has been one of the best pitchers in all of baseball, if not the most dominant left-handed pitcher. And the sheer fact that he seems to be getting better and better every single season is the reason that I have him as the top pitcher in the American League and coming in at number three on this list. Down to the final two here, and I think you can guess where we're going. And I even hate to have it say one and two. It's one A and one B because they're both such dominant pitchers in baseball. And this is going to give it away, but as a Mets fan, it pains me to do this, but coming in at number two is Jacob deGrom. It was so close. It was so close, but as a Mets fan, to put him at two and not one, oh, it's hard, but you'll see why. In case you guys forgot, Jacob deGrom won the 2018 National League Cy Young Award. He also finished fifth in the National League MVP voting. Jacob deGrom had one of the best pitching seasons in baseball history. He finished with a 10 and nine record, which doesn't sound great because well, record doesn't really prove anything because when you look at the rest of his numbers, you go, uh, how? 1.70 ERA a whip of 0.912, a FIP that led the National League at 1.99. He struck out 269 batters in 217 innings. He was dominant. That's why he won the Cy Young. His per nines, well, they're not too shabby either. 6.3 hits per nine, 0.4 home runs per nine, which led the National League, 1.9 walks per nine, and 11.2 strikeouts per nine to give him a strikeout to walk ratio of 5.85. Jacob deGrom is disgusting. He is obviously one of the top two pitchers in all of baseball. Strikes people out, doesn't walk batters, doesn't give up hits. He pitches long into games. The dude is a gamer. I'm so excited to see what he does in 2019, especially when the Mets are probably going to score more runs for him because it's almost impossible to score less. But despite all those numbers, Jacob deGrom is still number two because number one is someone who is just unbelievable. Yeah, you probably figured it out. Number one is going to be Mad Max Scherzer of the Washington Nationals. I mean, the dude is just the best pitcher in all of baseball. It's undeniable. And I'm picking against my own. I'm picking against DeGrom, my Mets pitcher. Just Scherzer's so good. Max Scherzer is coming off an insane 2018 season where he finished second in the Cy Young to, of course, Jacob DeGrom. Not sure if I've mentioned this yet, but in 2016 and 2017, Max Scherzer won the Cy Young back-to-back. -back. He also won it in 2013 with the Detroit Tigers, and in 2014 with Detroit, 2015 with the Nationals, he finished in fifth. So yeah, he's been pretty good for quite some time. In 2018, Max Scherzer appeared in 33 games, pitched in a league-leading 220 innings to give him a record of 18-7. and seven. He had a 2.53 ERA, a National League best point 911 whip and a FIP at 2.65. He struck out a National League leading 300 batters. In regards to his per nines, Max Scherzer had a league best 6.1 hits per nine, 0.9 home runs per nine, 2.1 walks per nine, and a league best 12.2 strikeouts per nine to give him a league best 5.88 strikeouts to walk ratio. It's Max Scherzer. The dude is Mad Max. He's got the different colored eyes. If you're going to knock him on anything, he gives up a home run. But it doesn't matter because no one's on base. It's a solo home run. He doesn't walk. He strikes guys out. Nobody gets hits. Since 2013, this has been one of the most, if not the most dominant pitchers in all of Major League Baseball. Mad Max Scherzer is the best pitcher in baseball. It pains me to say it because I'm going against my boy Jacob deGrom, but he's just that good. Even my love of the New York Mets doesn't have me putting Jacob deGrom ahead of this guy. He is just so incredibly good every single season. So that's my top 10 list of starting pitchers going into the 2019 MLB season. I would love to know what you guys think in the comment section down below. You can put your top 10 list. You can tell me who I left out, where I put guys in the wrong spot. Let's have a conversation. Let's talk, be a part of the team. Remember to subscribe as well if you're new to the channel and you enjoy this content. Over the next few weeks or so, we're going to be putting out our top 10 list on this channel. So if you want to see more of that, remember to subscribe. Don't miss out. Leave a like on this video if you did enjoy it. That's the best way to show your support on the channel. And remember to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at GiraffeNickMark. Links in the description. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. You know what to do. YouTube recommends you watch this video right here as well as this is my most recent upload. So click through to those if you haven't seen them yet. Help support the channel. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.